Today I'm going very quick over the changes on the dialog add-on for Godot, but I would like to point out that this is a very much work in progress and I will still be updating some of the core features and adding more stuff as time goes on. Since I wanted to share it with you, a lot of people were asking about adding characters to the dialogues, so here you have it. To make sure you have everything set up, you can check that you have the plugin enabled, it's the version 0.3, and you don't need the autoloads anymore. After adding the latest version of the plugin, you can go to dialogues and you can drag and drop the dialog scene, which is the one that you need for your game. Okay, now you place the dialog where you want it to be and you will see something different. First of all, the dialog node has a new icon and second of all, you have here some extra properties. The dialog resource and the dialog characters. You can read more about this on the documentation of the GitHub repository, but to run the example, you have everything you need. You have here the array with three characters, which are the ones on the example that you just saw. And if you click on any of these resources, you can modify how they look and the image they have and everything. You can also modify those resources by going here on your resources folder on the add-on and double clicking them, or you can create your own. Remember that everything that is inside the add-ons folder can change from version to version. So I recommend you that if you create your own resources, you create them on your own project. You can right click anywhere and press new resource. And if you type dialog, you will see the dialog resource and the dialog character resource. The dialog character resource is the one that we want. So we can say new character and this will be an empty character that you can name however you like. Emilio, you can set an image, you can set a color, and this is how it will look like on the game. To modify the characters on the scene, you can change the array size here, so you can add more, and you can load them by either drag and dropping the character that you create here, or by creating a new one in this menu. This is super long and I, I saw that there's a GitHub issue with people that want to make possible to filter this so you don't have to see all the available resources so you can only see the ones that you want to add here. But for now you have to search here for the one you want or create it as we, as we did before with new resource and drag and drop it. If you want to make them smaller you can do like so. So after the characters are loaded to the node, you can access them by setting the character key and the name of the character that you want. This has to be the same string as the string of the name of that character. In this case, it's dev. Then you set the position, center, left, or right. Those are the three available positions for now. A lot more will come later. And when you are writing the text, you can use the curly brackets and the name of the character. So it will show the name, plus the color of that character. That's how it is working right now. You can reference any character that you have available in this current node. The character Sass, right now Sass is talking. You will see the portrait. He will say, hey, Kubuk, do you know what this is? And if you see here, we didn't specify the position. So the default position is going to be the left one. And now we can keep adding to the right position, keep talking. And once all the conversation is over, there's a new action which is called clear portraits. This will make all the portraits available to fade out. You need to do this whenever you want to reset the scene or you want to change the characters that are visible. If you see here, the next message I created was plain text with no characters, so no name will show up. And here I add the same character again on the position right and I use a new action, which is focus out portraits. This action makes all the portraits to go darker. You need to do that whenever you want to keep the character in frame and you want to keep adding text on the dialogue, but you don't want it to stay on the foreground. And as for the rest of the dialogue, it is the same as we had it before. The same options are working and everything is as you saw in the previous video. The only difference is that instead of storing the information in a global auto load like we did before, so right now in the project, project settings, auto loads, we have nothing. This is stored in a dialog resource. In this case, the dialog kit resource by default is the default dialog resource.res. And inside here, you can see there's a variable which is custom variables and 
that's the dictionary where you save the information. So there's no need to create those anymore. You can also add the dialog in a 3D scene. I created a canvas layer and here in the control node, I added it by code. Here I typed everything I needed to have on the dialog and here I create the instance, then I add it on this node. And even if I have a 3D scene here working, you will see that the dialog will show up anyway. I'm blurring the text right now because I don't want it to be seen for now. Like the text is really a placeholder for now, but yeah. As you can see, you have the 3D scene behind and the dialogue on top, which works really well if you're making any kind of game. That's it for now. A special thanks to Tom, which made a pull request to our GitHub repository, adding the resources as a new feature, which I think are great for characters. I'm still working on making a dialogue editor in a similar way to other programs, so, so you don't have to type all the entries by yourself. But I would also like to point out that Tom makes some YouTube videos as well, so you can go and check out his channel by the same name, called with Tom, and he has very good tutorials that you can follow. I would like to thank all my Patreons, Ellison, David, Francisco, Mike, Problematic Dave, Frank, Tyler, and all of you who have been a patron before. I really appreciate your support and I hope to see you back soon. Thank you and see you guys next time.